Mm -hmm. uh, those 7,000 kinds of banknotes that were in circulation? Yeah. <laughs> uh, very few people knew uh, if there was any value in them. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now, there was another war called the Civil War. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that brought renewed demands on Congress to incorporate a new banking plan. Uh oh. <laughs> the National Banking Act, which became a law in 1864. Yes provided a uniform currency and a safer banking system. <laughs> Under this law, national banks were allowed to organize. Mm -hmm. They were chartered by the national government and supervised by the United States Treasury Department. <laughs> See, let's say I had some money today. I was suing you, mm -hmm. getting some money, yes. And I decided to open a new bank account in every bank of the world. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, it should be, yes, that the treasuries of the individual nations, yep, have a lot to say about the banking. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm kind of thinking I want to do that. <laughs> Since the yuan is floating, yes, meaning that the currencies of the world decide the value of the yuan, yes, then whatever product that you have to sell throughout the world, mm -hmm, it is a brand new day in banking. <laughs> now, of all those banks that are chartered uh, in the United States under the National Banking Act, are we still enforcing that law? Sheesh. I'm wanting to open an account in every one of them. <laughs> now, as a consumer, yes, I'm just looking at the minimum deposit necessary, yes, to not have the annual fee for the individual bank account. <laughs> now, since I'm thinking of opening a bank account, yes, in every bank of every nation of the world, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it should be, yes, that what is backing the actual assets of the bank. <laughs> now, uh, what we did in 1913, yes, the Federal Reserve Act was passed by Congress, oh, <laughs> to solve many of the nation's banking problems. Mm -hmm. Now, as the result of the bank failures of the early 1930s, you remember the Great Depression? Yeah. Well, legislation was passed to provide safeguards for bank customers, and the FDIC was established, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Do you know who they are? Mm. Now, as I remember it, we had a global credit crisis where I lost my house to foreclosure. Yes. And the immediate response was, well, we're going to up the FDIC insurance from 100000 to $250,000. <laughs> Now, let's say you're sitting on a large amount of deposits. You're one of these uh, national banks, Chase or Goldman Sachs or an investment bank. Yes, you're leveraged. <coughs> you know you are. <coughs> and you think, oh, my gosh, they floated the currency. Interest rates in the United States are going to go skyrocketing. Yes, you're going to have to unwind all your trades, causing an economic crisis. Yeah, <laughs> but what you could... Ha, 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 ha,